situations like this. We had to keep the house together. I know, I know this is Josie. I know this was her. I'm gonna raise this better. Where's the mm. where's the maid? The butler? You know, the Josie had a nickel for every good thought she had. She probably had a dime right now. <laughs> <laughs> I told her I was passing through, but I can't stay. This is mess. Nice. Look at the stuff on the floor. I know there's a train that leaves out. Probably at 7 o'clock, and if I get on the bus right now, I wanted to see her. You know, I tried to take her with me when Mama said I had to leave, but then she would let me take her with me. Every time I came back, I couldn't see her. Just like, just like now. I love my sister. I can't stay here in Redmond. I'm going back to the See? I told you, I knew it! <laughs> I may not be 
your first choice, but sometimes I'm your only choice. Mama, now, <laughs> I wouldn't say all of that. Oh, okay. Well, name one time or any time that you came here to ask me about something. Okay. About anything. Okay. When... Oh. Mm. <laughs> when... Let me help you. Never. <laughs> Mama, I'm Vicky, she just gets me. Really? Yeah. She actually listens to me. Oh, maybe, just maybe, if she listened to her own daughter, maybe. She wouldn't have got addicted to drugs and been in and out of cars and running in these streets. Oh my God, my, that was not on Vicky's fault. Oh? Well, whose fault was it? I don't know. Exactly. You don't know. So let me put you in on the know on who did what. Who did your Aunt Vicky call when the needle was missing? Me. Who drove all night long looking for her? Me. Who ran up in people's houses like she owned it? <laughs> me. Who took her to detox programs, therapy, church? Me. Mom, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. How could you? We didn't talk about it. And besides, while your aunt was living her fake ass life with her attorney husband trying to change the world, her one and only daughter was dying. And they just digging her grave. But she was listening to you. Oh my God, Ma, I and Vicky talked with Anita. <laughs> Mary, grow up. The world is ugly, Mary, ugly. Ma, but you taught me that there's beauty in the world, too. Yes, there is beauty in the world. And you have to look at the ugliness in order to get me. Why are you here? <laughs> Ma, Flo and I broke up. OK, why are you here? Because we broke up. What does that have to do with me and your Aunt Vicky? Nothing. I'm, I'm just missing her. <sighs> okay. Who broke up with who? I broke up with her. So you made the decision to break up with her? Yeah. So what you missing? <laughs> Ma, after the thing went G, everything went wrong. She started picking up more shifts at the hospital. And then she went back to school to go get her degree in nursing. She got a master's. And mom, well, when she's not at work or sleeping, she's with Sydney. Dr. Sydney. Yeah, she's her mentor. She would be. Well, it sounds like she's going after her goals. But mom, but what about me? What about you? Mom, where do I fit in? Um. It looks like you don't. <laughs> yeah. Mom, what am I going to do? We went together for five years. I can't tell you that. All I can say is, your heart and your mind can tell you two different things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I love her, Mom. Girl, God don't love nobody. <laughs> don't let it fool you like it fooled me. Mm. See, this is exactly why I can't talk to you. Whatever, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I could try to catch Flo and bring her lunch or something. Mm, okay, young, yeah. stupid love. <laughs> <laughs> she left the one person that would stand by her through any storm. Oh well, she'll understand it better by and by, but in the meantime, she might have to take this heartache that's coming. Hey, Nessa. Hey. I saw Mary leaving. She almost knocked me over running out the door. Where's she going? Really? <laughs> Nowhere. She 
broke up with Flo, talking about she got to go find her or something. Really? Mm -hmm. She broke up with Flo? Mm -hmm. That makes sense now. What makes sense? Well, I wasn't going to say anything, but <laughs> since she brought it up, mm, I saw Flo in the grocery store a few days ago with a woman. They was just a key, key, key. <laughs> I was about two hours over. All I could hear was folks laughing. So you know I had to go see who it was. Mm -hmm. I was so surprised. Right there in the produce section, there was Flo holding up a cucumber, waving it. <laughs> oh, woman, she was just a key, key in a way. In the produce section? Yep. I said, hey, Flo. She gave me the biggest hug and introduced me to the woman. Said her name was Monica, and that they went in nursing school together. Flo told me she was going back to get her master's degree. You know that, Flo? She is doing things. It's like no stopping her. And that girl was beautiful, huh? What? That girl, Monica, was beautiful. See? If only Mary had that same ambition. You would think some of it would have rubbed off. They were together for five years. She said she was coming by here. She asked about you. She asked about everybody. Said she had something to talk to you about? Talk to me? Yep. She said she needed your advice. Oh, interesting. You know, I've always liked that girl. There was something about it. Yeah. Me too. So, Flo and Mary broke up, huh? Mm -hmm. What happened? Was somebody cheating? Don't tell me somebody cheated with a man. Didn't you tell me Mary was trans? No! I said David was trans. Who's David? You don't know him. But I could. I need a man. Oh, no. Nigga, he's like 22. He's over 18. <laughs> I can be all over him. Uh, he might need some of this fullness of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he just might, but then you kill that poor boy catching murder charge, and I'm not making no more prison visits. Besides, orange is not your color. You need to go ahead and quit while you behind. I certainly am not. Can I tell you something? Wait, what is that smell? <laughs> if I say no, you're going to tell me anyway. And I don't know. I smelled it when I first came downstairs. Maybe something's bad in the fridge. <laughs> When I was at my second cousin's brother's aunt's niece nephew, <laughs> Joanne, you remember Joanne? No, anyway. Joanne, Joanne, she worked with us. She sat up front. Joanne, the one with the big eyes. No, but go ahead. <laughs> I met my mark at that funeral, and when everyone was up at the casket crying, I was crying too, and Mm. And he helped you to your seat. <laughs> and you gave him your number. <laughs> and he called you. But you didn't know he had kids. Or a crazy wife. Uh, okay. What happened to be me? Hey. I know the story. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. All of that. I said he was married. I just didn't know. He was married to you. Mm. How would I? It's not like I knew him before the funeral. Apparently, nigga. Apparently. <laughs> you know, sometimes I don't understand why you do that to me. And you say, apparently, Nia, apparently. How would I have known? Child, I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm so happy that it's all over. Yeah. Just know, everybody that's your friend, 
is not your friend. Mm. Well, I'm glad we're friends. Mm. I've been meaning to ask you, mm. how's your mother-in-law, Miss Queen? <laughs> Last time I saw her, we were all here, and she was walking with Charlotte out there. Mm. I haven't seen her since that night, but <laughs> she'll pop up when I least expect it. Maybe she went off and married the deacon. Ooh, if she did, she would never come back here. Believe that. I wonder how she's doing. I was just wondering about it. Mm. I'm so excited to start this business with you. Me too. I brought the cash. Excuse me for one moment. Hello? Hey! It's so good to see your face. Where are you? Southern California? Who is that? Dr. Sid? It doesn't rain in Southern California. It does? Well, who knew that? A flight to Europe? Is Marcus with you? What's in Europe? Hello? You're breaking up. Hello? Sid? Girl, hang up the phone. <laughs> Did you take care of moving that money for the business? Yup. You said we needed 10K to put down? Yeah. I brought 10K. Okay, let me see. Nick. <laughs> you brought cash? You said we had to put 10K down. I told you to sell it to the account. The closing for the shop is in a few days. You know what? You need to get a hold of this ADHD. It's got you all over the place. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting ready to go to the grocery store. Nessa, you want something? Yes, I do. Well, not me, but bring me back some peppers and onions. Okay. Miss Charlotte's making liver for dinner today. Liver? Mm -hmm. You eat liver? No, no, no. <laughs> she does a lot. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll go ahead and go to the grocery store and I'll be back. I'm going to the bank, not the grocery store. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you when you get back. All right. I'll be back. Right back. Alright. So Miss Charlotte has memory and Mia has none? <laughs> Jesus come by here. What happened to dementia? <laughs> She wanted, she would be with you and 
not him. If you haven't realized it yet, she gets exactly who and what she wants. How do you know her? Didn't you just meet her? You sound like you know, know her. <laughs> I know where she come from. I know her roots. You got to have good roots to make a garden grow and the right fertilizer. Are we talking about scent or gardening? I'm confused. It's the same thing. <laughs> she was created to grow and strength and be a beacon to the world. You must know her parents. Of course I do. The Tillers? Mm-hmm. They live next door to the hoes. <laughs> <laughs> They put in a lot of work to make it what it is. When the ground is buried. Yeah, the, the hoes. They live two doors down on the left. The poussets and the clitorines <laughs> live in between them. The who? Can you hear me? The poussets and the clitorines. <laughs> Between the holes, mm. 
the pussies, the clitorines, and my liver. That's enough bright red flags for me. Yeah. Just remember, she's the flame. No, she's the fire that keeps on burning. Nessa, there's always a lot going on here. I try to understand, but sometimes mm -mm. you'll kill yourself trying to understand. <laughs> Look, just remember, everybody is not your friend. <laughs> I know that. You know, I need a man or a dog. You know, <laughs> you always talking about needing a man or a dog. Why not just start with a dog? Mm -hmm. A dog, you think so? Mm -hmm. It'll help you learn how to clean up shit. <laughs> She went upstairs to check on Vicky. Hmm. Alright, are y'all supposed to be going out or something? We're supposed to be going out to dinner, but I don't know what she's going to do. Okay, well, you look nice. Check you out, Miss Nia. Yes, I am <laughs> loving the hair. Thank you. <coughs> but where exactly are y'all supposed to be going? Do, like, does she say? She didn't tell me. I'm not sure. All I know. We are blessed. <coughs> hey, well, you're looking extra fancy. Yeah, this is all right, I guess. I wanted to change into a dress, but maybe I won't. Okay, well, are you looking for anything in particular? Because this <coughs> right here is. Let me tell you something. I am. I'm looking for a man, and your mother, she said that I should get a dog what? so that I could learn how to clean up shit. <laughs> Wait, she said what? She said that I should get a dog so that I can learn how to clean up shit. Miss Nia, I am so sorry. Don't. <laughs> well, I, I can't believe that she said that to you. It's all right. You know how you want to be. I know. Is she supposed to be coming down anytime soon? Probably so. She's just checking on Vicky. Well, how are you doing? You're not 
know, one thing that I noticed is you're always talking about you need a man. Were you ever married before? I was for 13 years to a great man. He passed on. Miss Mia, oh my goodness. I am so sorry. That's all right. He was my best friend. He was a great man. We shared so many good years together. And then he got sick. He had fever, chills, and a bad cough. He couldn't shake it. We went to the ER and they told us he had COVID. We FaceTimed as much as we could. I called the pastor and- The pastor? Why the pastor? Well, with COVID, there were no visitors. So, as I said, we FaceTimed as much as I could and the pastor prayed with us. It was difficult for him to talk, the breathing. That was the last time I sat beside him. He's the only man I've ever been with. Just me, I am so sorry. What was his name? His name was Cliff but everybody called him Clifford. He was in the hospital for about a month and then he passed on. I think it was the respirator that killed him. Once they intubated him, it was over. The doctors called, they said he wouldn't make it through the night. And just like that, my life changed. You do know she did break up with me. 
but I'm not trying to look back when there's so much more in front of me. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. I can't look back anymore. There's so much more ahead of me. And I figured with Clifford going, I will find somebody. You know, the pastor came by. He prayed with me. He was so concerned, so I thought I would be the first lady. <laughs>
A nurse or a dentist? <laughs> My mother was a doctor, and she taught me all I know. No, I wasn't a real doctor or a nurse, but I was just as good as one. Mm -hmm. Somebody had to put food on the table and, and keep the family business going. You know, I used to help my mother all the time. But after the police killed her, I was just 13 and get used to the screaming. G would help sometimes too, cause, cause she needed the money. Wait, who's G? My mother? Oh, G had it hard from the time she was born. Mm -mm -mm. A girl is cursed, born in the family of men. After all she went through, I'm surprised she's still alive. You know, she shot and killed both of her brothers. Mm -hmm. Bang! Yep. Shot dead. <laughs> she cut her daddy's eye. Clear out his head. Mm -hmm. I know. I gave her the knife. Mm -hmm. And I helped her bury her brothers. The others didn't come to the room no more after that. You know, her mother wasn't right after her daddy shot in the head on Christmas Eve. So wait, Miss Charlotte, hmm. you're trying to tell me that you were you knew Mary's grandmother? I don't know, Mary. So how do you know my mother? Oh, Gertrude and I were the best of friends. <laughs> we did everything together. We were all we had, all we could trust. You know, th those men would climb on top of us and, mm -hmm. and beat on us. What? This. This is crazy. You have to be making this up. Those men. Uh, I wish I could see her. I wish I spent my life. Wait, 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 wait. You were in love with Mary's grandmother? It didn't have anything to do with love. It was survival. Those men would beat on us, and, and they would climb on top of us. Wait, you're a liar. This is nonsense. My mother has done a lot of things, and she is a lot of things, but not this. Oh, I wish I could see her. I love that one. With my heart. You loved her? This. Are you going to be okay, Miss Charlotte? Mm -hmm. You know, all the girls that came to see me with their daughters and left without them, those are the ones that would come to see me. Wait, sir. I have a daughter and a son, twins. You have twins? Yes. Well, do you have a half moon Wait. on the top of your right thigh? I believe Mary has that birthmark. Yes, so do Vicky and I. My mother said that it was so that we could remember together we're whole. She said that it's so that we knew we had to look out for each other. Wait, why do you even know that? All the daughters that came to see me, their daughters, didn't leave with them. If the daughters left without their daughters, where were you? I was alone. I was always alone. Wait, wait a minute, wait a damn minute. <laughs> Have you seen Thel? Thel Whitlow, my daddy? <laughs> Where is that man right there? Cause I got a few shots left in me for sure for that man. <laughs> wait, how do you know my father? 
<laughs> well, you see, when I was younger, and he was old, <laughs> he'd come in my room. What were you saying? <laughs> my father. How do you know my father? Who says I know him? <laughs> you just did. You said, where is Stel Whitley? Why are you asking me about him? <laughs> because you were just talking about him. How do you know my dad? I don't know him. My mind hurts. What? Oh. When, when I start remembering, I wish she were here. She know what to do. Always knew what to do. Miss Charlotte, everything is going to be okay. What's in? Yeah, I just need to go on back out to the garden. Okay. I'll Excuse be right. me. I can help you there. Today. No, no. What you need to do is tell me how you know my father. <laughs> Cancer? Now that's a totally different beast. I'm 
just glad you made it through. I had to. You know, when people used to talk about fighting or being in a battle with cancer, I never really knew what they meant. Not until I got in the ring with it. Vicky, you fought every day. I had to. I wasn't ready to give up then, and I'm damn sure not ready to give up now. I didn't lose an inch of my hair, but I swear, I think I lost some of my mind. <laughs> but it wasn't until then that I realized how many people love me. I truly love me unconditionally. It wasn't until I was in that room by myself, with myself. My phone, it just kept ringing with phone calls and text messages of support from everyone. I was so overwhelmed, and I still am. A lot of people love you. You ain't even messed with us, face it. I wasn't always the best. Oh, you were the best you could be. Leave that there. But Nita, I could have been a better mother to her. But maybe this is my second chance. Stop talking crazy. You still on the first chance. You don't need a second one. You did just come back from the dead. I sure feel like it. But thank you for always being there for her when I couldn't. I put my marriage and my career in front of my daughter. And look where that got me. I think that's why I always clung to Mary. Because she was like the perfect <coughs> girl I, ne I never had. I, don't, I, I wouldn't necessarily say perfect. It seems like we got our daughters mixed up. Because Mary thinks of you more than a mother than she does me. She does not. Yes, she does. Anytime something go wrong, she will <coughs> blow through this house past me like I was invisible in search of you. Well, Nessa, you know, you weren't always in the best of health. And you would have those episodes. I remember that one episode lasted three months. Mama had to put you in the hospital. I, it was those doctors that told her that was the best place for me. When really, it was the worst. All those witch doctors poking and prodding and keeping me all drugged up all the time. I used to hate to come and visit you on Sundays and have to leave you there. I hated for you to leave too. I wanted to come home. I knew when I got out of there, I would <laughs> never go back. Never. I didn't even want to drive by. Okay? I, know, I know that's right. Who knew going to see Marcus in prison would trigger all those memories? Listen, enough about that. I am glad that you came downstairs. Because I was tired of running up the stairs in five minutes. <laughs> you know I would have done the same thing for you. I know. <laughs> V and V, sisters for life, for life. <laughs> um, Vanessa, hmm. who's this Miss Charlotte, oh. and why the hell is Mary running after Flo? Miss Charlotte is a lady who showed up here one night and never left. <laughs> <laughs> never left. Mm -hmm. What the hell you mean never left? Uh, where did she come from? Where's her family? I wish I knew. <laughs> if I did, I would drop her off in a hot second, let me tell you. So. She showed up one night asking for a butler. Talk about she lived here. So she just showed up out of nowhere? Mm -hmm. And what butler? Out of the thunderstorm. <laughs> Talking about where's the butler? Yeah, but get me some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fun. You sure your new man's is working for you? <laughs> <laughs> now, why is it when I'm talking clear, folks think I'm bugging? I mean, it's just, you sound a little. Look, okay, she just. Showed up out of nowhere. Not like a storm, storm, like, ooh, storm, ooh, she popped up. No, just out of nowhere. <sighs> I know what I'm talking about. You sure? Yes. <laughs> just know it was my choice to get off of 
those drugs that left me feeling lethargic. I chose that. Who's gonna take care of you? <clears throat> okay, you have a point. Besides, now, I use medical marijuana. <laughs> I got a card and everything. It costs more, but when I tell you, it works. So now you smoke weed legally? Yes. Your doctor prescribed it for you, too. It did wonders for your nausea. Trust me, you know how I feel about using drugs. Uh-uh, no. I don't want to hear about your anti-drug platform. You wasn't saying nothing when you stopped throwing up. Drugs work, sister. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Okay. When is Michelle leaving? Oh, I wish I knew. Listen, let me ask you a question. Do you remember any friends of Mama's from when we was little? No. <laughs> no, I don't. Mama was always by herself. I mean, I heard about some uncles coming to the house. I never saw them. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait. There was this one lady. She would come to the house and visit with Mama all the time. Hmm. Yeah. And when she would come by the house, her Mama would smile and laugh. That's the only time I ever heard Mama laugh. Mama laugh. She did with this lady until, girl, until that day Daddy Bell came home. What? I will never forget that day. He came in the house. Next thing you know, you hear them in there yelling. Then the lady come running out the house so fast. And Daddy Thad was shooting at the lady from the porch. <laughs> what? <laughs> he, he went back into the house and beat Mama so bad that day. <clears throat> she was screaming and crying. And girl, I was so scared. I ran upstairs and hid under the bed. The next day, her face was all swollen. And she was walking around the house with a bag of ice on her face. I don't remember that. Come to think of it, I think you still was in the hospital. But yeah, that lady would come by the house all the time. But she would make sure she was gone before Daddy Bell got home. <coughs> Why do you ask? Oh, nothing. I was I was just thinking about Mama. Um, you remember her name? No. I used to just call her man. Because when she would come to the house, I would make sure I wasn't around because I never wanted to get caught in the crossfire between them and Daddy Bell. Mm. I do remember I never liked that lady. Why didn't you like her? Because she used to always bring you stuff. Barrettes for your head, clothes to wear, and that raggedy ass guy used to run around the house with. <laughs> and then on Sundays, Mama would always bring a bag of stuff for you from her. Hmm. Wait, Vic, Daddy Thel abused Mama? No, he didn't, Vanessa. Why would you say that? You just said he beat her. Um, that's abuse. That's domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Okay, but Mama's okay, isn't she? When's the last time she was by the house? <laughs> she ain't came by or called. Yeah, okay, Nessa, maybe she was busy. Oh, for six months? <laughs> Look, we left Rubyville for a reason. She knew that before you got sick. And she didn't want to come with me, so I left her. Came out here, Mary was staying with her. <gasps> Until. Until what? Oh my God. Until Mama caught her with her girlfriend, and she was shooting at them like Daddy Thel was shooting with her and that lady. Mama was shooting at Mary? No, no, she was she was shooting at Flo. <laughs> and they came over here. Yeah, she came over here right after it happened, cause she was looking for you. Well, is Mary okay? Why are you asking about Mary? And not Anita. Because I may have been asleep and out of it a lot, 
But girl, I know my daughter came to see me. I hate to break it to you, but you feeling good and all, but no. Well, what about Freddie? Queen? Zach? Queen came by sometimes. Zach came by a lot. But Freddie, Freddie, no, he not welcome here. Look, bitch, it's a lot going on. I can't even get into all of it. Let me go to the kitchen and make you something to eat. Yeah, but I'm not really hungry. I don't have much of an appetite. But I am gonna head upstairs in a minute, get some rest. I'm tired. I'm tired of being in this house. I'm especially tired of being in that room. I'm just tired. I'm tired all the time. But can you bring me some water? A little temperature upstairs? Yes, I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't you ever 
don't go anywhere. <laughs> Nessa, Flo, I'm in the kitchen. I'll be out in a minute. Okay. I'm going to go on and head out to the garden. I don't have time for y'all, especially you, Alley Cat. <laughs> okay, Miss Charlotte. Meow! <laughs> they knew I was going to change and it wasn't going to take that long. They knew I was coming right back. Hey, Miss Mia, what are you still doing here? I'm just waiting on your mother. Okay, well, where is she? She's in the kitchen. They're supposed to be going to dinner. She needs a night out. Take her to Jack's. She loves it there. No, I'm not feeling Jack's tonight. I think we're going to find another place. Somewhere with a good chef. Well, I'll try to check you out. I am loving your outfit. <laughs> you know I need a man or a dog. Your mother said I should get a dog so I can learn how to clean up shit. What the? She said what? She said I should get a dog so I can learn how to clean no, up shit. No, 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 no. I heard you just fine. Hey, Mary, when did you get here? A few minutes ago. Okay, nigga. You looking good. You had that outfit in the car? <laughs> yes, thank you. I always try to be ready, so I ain't got to get ready. I just have a bag in the car. All right, I like that. I was in the kitchen. I forgot I was supposed to get Vicky some water. Nah, I can bring it to her. No, I'm sorry. I can <laughs> Don't worry about having to clean up after no dog. The right man is going to find you when you least expect it. You're going to be in the middle of nowhere, minding your business. You might be at dinner, or you might be at work. Ooh, you might even be at church. <laughs> Not at church. <laughs> Ain't no men there. I tried that. <laughs> Well, Miss Mia, well, well, what about a dating app? I'm effed up! <laughs> My username is her. You see? Wow. Um, okay, um, Miss Mia, if you're seriously thinking about finding someone, you might want to reconsider that next. You don't like it? It's nice, but... Mm. What do you think? That it all depends on what kind of cat someone is looking for? <laughs> <laughs> um, Miss Mia, why don't you try something a little, but a lot more softer? Um, like... Mia. It means practice in Swahili, right? It does. How did you know that? I celebrate Kwanzaa. <laughs> how about, how about, ooh, how about simply Mia? I like that. No kitty, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, no kitty. <laughs> I'll try that. But um, I don't mean to be disrespectful on all in your business or anything, but Miss Mia, you're always talking about how you meet a man. Were you ever married before? I was. 13 years to a great man. And he passed on. Miss Mia, I'm so sorry to hear that. It's okay. It was my best friend. Maybe. He got sick. He had the fevers and the chills. And he couldn't shake it. We went to the ER and they said he had COVID. I called the pastor to come and pray with us. The pastor? Why? Well, 
with COVID, there were no visitors. So we FaceTimed all the time, as much as we could. It was difficult for him to talk. It was difficult for him to breathe. And that was the last time I sat beside him. I miss my man. You know, he was my best friend. I mean, I'm so sorry to hear about that, Miss Mia. What was his name? His name was Cliff first, but everybody called him Cliff. He was in the hospital for about a month when he passed away. I think it was the respirator that killed him. The doctors called. They said he wouldn't make it through the night. And just like that, my life changed. <clears throat> I'm not used to being alone. That's why I always say I need a man. Did you hear that? <coughs> no. You didn't hear that? No. It sounds like it's coming from underneath us. I didn't hear that. There it is again. It sounds like it's coming in the walls. Wait, I, do, I do hear that. What is that? I don't know. <coughs> you don't hear it? I don't know. You don't know what? Honey, I always talk about Shimmy Domain. <laughs> Mary and I were just talking about Cliff. Oh, we're in that space now. That's what I mean. It's good to talk about him, you know. Yeah. He's always going to be with me, like you and Marcus. Mia. Marcus is alive. <laughs> I know. Don't you know what I'm saying? What is that coming back? Mary, what have I told you about minding your father's business? So, did you make reservations? I didn't know that I was... That's all right. Mary, go to the store and get some champagne. Nia and I are celebrating. Ma, I'm still looking for Flo and I was just... All right, Ma, I'm going to do it right now. Perfect. Nia, we, I'm gonna go get changed and then we can take the deposit and drop it in the night drop, okay? Okay. I'm about to go take my shot. <sighs> Miss Nia, do you wanna ride with me? No. It's all right. I'll just wait here. I'll be fine. All right. I'll be back soon. I sure do miss him. We have some great years together. <clears throat> we said for better or for worse, but I never thought I would be without him for real. He's my best friend. <sighs> my main man.
things to come, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? It's getting this better and just, better. It is getting <laughs> better and better. So, what you got to do? You know what? I got to get my hair done and a new dress.
But not for long. I plan on being back 110%. Watch me. Oh, Miss Vicky. I know you haven't been out, you know, being sick and all in. We're only going to dinner and I made reservations at Ruby's. I don't know about going out. And I just, you know, I don't have much of an appetite. But uh, wait, did you, wait, did you say Ruby's? <laughs> I saw a commercial on it. That place looked nice. You should come on and go out with us. Come on and get out the house. It'll be fun. You don't have to eat that much. Yeah, but I mean, I would, I would have to change. No worries. We got time. Well, I do have this dress that I had hanging up on the wall. I've been looking to wear whenever I got out of this house. Give me a minute. I'm coming. I'll be right back. Right. I'm so happy she's coming with us. Yeah, me too. So, you and us are business partners? I thought y'all only work together. We do. Ness and I are taking a step out on faith and we're buying our as a shop. Hmm. I've always wanted to start my own business. And I've always wanted to invest in the community. So, here we are. Hmm. It's a lot for startup money. Not really. It depends on what you want to do. You can start with as little as $10,000. You invested $10,000? Mm -hmm. Yep. I gave it to Nessa today. Oh, wow. Mm. Well, look what the cat keeps dragging in and out the house. Hey, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Don't be dragging none of that sickness in here. We just came out of quarantine. I already had the chicken pox, small pox, lumps, and the measles. Not that they're polio. My brother had that, and he died. Oh, uh, Miss Charlotte, mm. did you get the liver? Mm-hmm, I sure did. And I ate every last bit of it. Keep me in mind when you come across another one. <laughs> Miss Charlotte, hmm. why are you so mean? I don't have COVID. Never mind that COVID stuff. There is worse stuff out there. Like, like, like that there, uh, HIV. Who's talking about that? And, and, and what about that there sugar? Who's talking about that? You know, people will walk all over you if you show any kind of weakness. You hear me? You better learn to walk in your strength. All right? And, 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 and people will use your words and, and twist your mind for their means. Oh, and baby, please, know that everybody that's your friend, your baby, you. hear me, okay? And, Clouds attract the shit and it's a uh, pretty shitty around here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me sit down, baby. Hey, Miss Charlotte. Hey, Miss Nia. Where's my mom? I thought you guys were going. Flo! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my goodness, Flo! <laughs> I've been looking for you all day. I stopped by the hospital to see you. But you weren't there. So then I ended up I ended up getting a text and you told me to meet you at Jackson. I stopped by there, but you weren't there either. Listen, I stopped at Jax. You weren't there, and I tried to call you back. You left a message with a saying you were gonna hurt yourself, so I was concerned for you medically, so I figured I'd connect you with mobile crisis intervention. You do know. When people talk about suicide, that's a real thing. And Mary, as a nurse, I'm not. Flo, no, no. I was saying that I can't live without you. You're going to have to live without somebody until it's time for you not to. Without me? What? That is not what the message said at all. Wait, Mary, you do know that we're not. Flo, I'm just so glad that you're here and that we can finally pick back up and we can move forward. I ended up getting a new full-time job in the same hospital that you work in. And it's got great benefits. I even got us a brand new two bedroom apartment. And it's got a laundry and a gym and you can use one of the rooms for your study. Office and everything. And it's really, really close to the hospital. Oh, hold up, Mary, hold up. I don't know where you going with all of this, but um, we, we are not together. Not at all. At all. Flo, don't talk like that. You know that I love you. Baby, love don't 
him ago. What happened to that? Flo, you know I didn't mean that. You know I didn't mean nothing by that. Listen, Mary, you were mad because I didn't want to live a poly life. I wasn't into all of that. I had just came out and told my mother I was a lesbian. <coughs> so I've got to work with that. Mary, you poly? <laughs> But, um, leave me out. I'm all the way out. So, I know you didn't mean nothing like that. Told y'all, flies come to shit. And it is pretty shitty around here. <laughs> hey, what are y'all doing here? Banning flies. <laughs> Banning what? <laughs> Ma. Flo, she won't take me back. Oh, good for her. She's going after her goals. Y'all ready to go? I can't I've been cooked up in this house way too long. Plus, Nessa, I need to talk to you about something. You can talk to her in front of everyone. Oh. <laughs> You have 
for nothing, for anything. I hate you.
Let somebody share what rubiness 
existence. Rubiness is releasing unlimited balm yourself. Jesus. That's what we do. That's what we do at each production. We give of ourselves. We tell the stories that people don't want to talk about. We talk about the things that people are afraid to talk about. We make you feel uncomfortable. We make you laugh. That's how we get you in here. And then we stir your spirit once you're here. So I thank you for coming. Oh, my sister, my soul sister is here. All the men that red cards. thank you. Thank you for coming. I love you. So many of my dear friends, friends of ours, we'll be back again. I'll be April of next year. Come and join us. So we just like to open it up just a little bit. If you have any questions of the cast, if the cast would, um, excuse me, my other rubies, come on up yeah. to the floor. Come on, everybody, come on up on stage. So if, the, if anyone here had something they would like to ask the cast, please do. Or if the cast has something they'd like to share. We're just going to use this before we take our final bow. I'm not sure if everyone saw the QR code out front. Uh, Ray, please scan it on your way out and give us your, you know, I mean, your feedback on how you were able to connect with the play where you saw it at. Um, thank you. Great job, Alex. Great job.